seconds? Yeah, I hear you. Ten seconds. Let's do this. Five seconds. This is the whole match is ready to play this song. Go. Okay. Go. 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 So here we are back from the restart there. Had a little bit of a false start, our bad. So we restarted here. Ghost is now right. U.S. Army side. Still playing Fool's Road Skirmish. Welcoming Doc East and Blitza back to the stream. Hello, guys. Round two, let's so, do it. Uh, Round yep. two. Oh, the Ghost Chorus is down. They're playing music to the Ghost Chorus. Ghost bombs through your mic. You fucking pleb. Crouch! Do you know what a ball koozie is? Yes, don't explain it in squad leader chat when squad league is watching us. So basically, Please explain what it is. I don't know what it shut is. Shut up! You get a hot cup of water. Put your ball stop, in dude, it. Just stop. And you get a girl stop. to get stop. a straw okay. and blow bubbles okay. in the water. It's a jacuzzi <laughs> for your nutsack. No way. <laughs> I am totally happy to leave that on stream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A ball koozie. Ghost oh, there, man. making a name for themselves. Mm. Yeah, they're pretty cheap in Thailand, to be honest. Hey, yeah, not bad. Maybe, maybe, Haley, maybe Haley will be into that. You think Haley will do that, Garrett? Uh, just stop. Stop talking about it. Stop. <laughs> what, Blitz? Stop talking about it. About it. <laughs> 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 hey, man, we're all gamers. We all came from the same place, right? Yeah. Right, back to business. As we can see, Ghost here splitting up into three squads. Squad two picking up Hilltop, four heading for ammo, and squad three taking out a western flank. A couple of markers set up, which looks hey, like they're going to be squad. Make sure you get an FOB ASAP, down and then before, uh, uh, get the on the south so side. Straight push from uh, Hilltop to that objective. Roger that, SL. Looks like the first contact is going to be down here in the valley, right along the road here, just at the foot of hill, the hill yeah, here, MP. in between ammo. I think ENV actually went 14 and 0 last round. Oh. <laughs> Definitely some talent here on the Ghost team. 20R putting up a fight here on the hilltop. Rascal coming in from behind. Bob's Monster Man goes down. Or oh, that as well. on objective. oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah, you know your flank. You know your flank. Mickey there prone. Tim scouting him out. Captain. Roger that. My squad's already on push. Captain. Going back to what we said in the first round, Doc, you know, Ghost got a couple of guys in the cap to make sure that they're, um, they're gaining it, but then a couple of guys just out on the outside watching out for that push and just neutralizing any sort of attack that the 20 are mounting. I'm so turned out. Absolutely. Uh, Ammo Depot has a couple couple lanes, I guess you could say, attack lanes um, that, feed, that feed into it from the south. And uh, one of them is where Ghost is taking guys over to the west right now one good angle on that position. If you can put some people out there and keep them from maneuvering in, the area, in that area to begin with, defending that objective is a heck of a lot easier. And that goes for yeah. every objective as well. You know, you want to put people in, you want to restrict movement is what it comes down to in the end. That's ultimately what you're doing. The squad is a, is a slight meta to it Meta to it in the end. Uh, most people don't realize. Um, you, you, you control terrain and control like areas around objectives. You effectively yeah, you, control the objectives. Yeah, you've had some flank on the west, so and yeah, they're all in the south, so you have fun. Now, uh, usually teams that understand that. And, uh, Make sure that's here before you actually push. Bravo, you let us know when cool. you want us to move up. Off the nut. Not yeah, uh, this right. is. I uh, didn't know what to name my squad. Copy that. Over. <laughs> all right. Shh, okay. Kid J, can you uh, provide reinforcements on? on the defensive flag? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go 
like stopping hey, your job. Yeah, yeah those just enjoying the themselves so here. Move up to the attack objective. Do you copy? I think the further and further squad league goes, uh, gets along here, we'll start to develop uh, characters with some of these clans and some of their outspoken leaders here. We're trying, but we have heavy resistance. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You've got to say the over, clans really over. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Go still holding here, 150 tickets. But they've pushed straight through to uh, Hill 415 as well. Not a single death yet. 22 kills, zero deaths so far. Starting to neutralize now. I think uh, 50, if it's clear up there, you're clear to move up. Squad starting to rotate on the attack objective. This is didn't know to name my squad again. Over. I repeat. Uh, you're clear to move up, Balkuzi. Over. <laughs> we don't need to do any commentary with these squad comms. Yeah, no, yeah I'm just kind of letting them talk it out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped cap. Oh, it's really contested right now on the cap, but uh, when you can, just hurry up. Do you have any fobs down there? Real quick. Uh, no fobs up right now. No fobs? Uh, yep, you can tell. Yep, only one. You can see the... Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry Tak, only one. Okay. Yeah, you can see the numbers. You can't keep up that, that momentum. Obviously, look at the 320 yard guys left over on the uh, ammo, or four rather. And this, and this, um, 15 is an absolute nightmare to approach from uh, Russia. Uh, yeah, in this sort of position, you really are struggling to get a good push on it unless you flank really far right, wide. Right, right, moving in, Roger. Over. Absolutely. By that time, you know, you've lost that initial tickets with the bleed and all that good stuff. Hey, Tango's trying to come up on our south southeast region. Ghost doing a very good job here calling contacts and directions. We're flanking. You know, I think one thing I'm going to be interested in seeing, we've been listening to, since we've started streaming, we've been listening to Commander Comms. Which is kind of a little bit hit or miss um, in how much communication is going back and forth. But it's going to be interesting in the future to finally hear. Um, I don't know if we're going to want to hear all of the squads talking how's, at once. How's the objective but problem? you know, I can imagine that different clans uh, have really uh, like some of them utilize local chat more. Right now, so, uh, some of them utilize. The south. I'll get all my guys on here. Some of them utilize um, commander comms more, and some of them You're utilize that squad chat. Um, so that'll be interesting to see in the future. Uh, who's using local? Who's using? Uh, squad they chat who's using uh, commander comms up, uh, and and how that information disseminates down the levels. Yeah, you know, is it just there. the important stuff isolated on that commander comm channel? Uh, you know, with the only the, the directions of fire going out to the squads. Um, that's something I'd be very interested to see how you know communications are prioritized on certain channels. Yeah, and um, you know, it's the, the good clans and these it, these clans that are involved. In... Leave it. And squad league, Leave it. use all of them at the right time. You know, your commander comes is, Cap, to call out your next section of plan. Cap is, uh, to fully alert your squad leaders really, to where the right contacts now. are. They Man. will then feed that through squad chat. Hey. Right, boys, we've got, Yo, we've got contacts Jay, going sure in northeast. Your squad, wrangle your squad. And, and then when you're initially like in that contact, you're, 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 you're coal face yeah, to send where the guy boys will call out on local, you know, contact 50 minutes. I just had Spartan go look. So once you get that, you can get that broadcast. It's going to give uh, the viewers a, a really good insight as to how you sh should operate within squad communication-wise. Yeah. Definitely, and it takes all three, all three to, to effectively, you know, to move around the map and, and pull things off. Oakley, how are we doing in terms of tickets over there? Uh, we got 97 over here. 97. All right, we got 145 here. Just start seeing a little more, uh, more briefness uh, and start coming out a little bit more, especially with these clans as opposed to to public matches. Because you know you play public matches and you get people who tell you their entire life story, what they had for breakfast, and how their how their head feels today. Um, yeah. When you're getting shot at and you don't have time to listen to a whole biography on their their entire life. <laughs> so you'll start you, you see a little bit different compared to public to, to clan matches. Yeah. Um, he, that contact call, you know, they're going to be like he's you know, 50 degrees. He's jumping up and down on the wooden 
you know, on the logs, and then he circled around that. Yeah, we'll show me where he is in the distance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a reference point. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Hang on, there. Yeah, I do think they're gonna play him for the crown then. We will overcome. Oh, uh, just to alert you, 20 I've managed to get a neutralize on ammo depot. Oh, the ninja cap on the back four guys. Do they have anything to do with that? That's why it doesn't listen. Nope. Okay, that's not gonna last. There's a hunter to fall back there. I'm zooming over Chances to ammo now. Chances of all four of them surviving that is... it's very slow. But it might be enough. It might be enough to... at least pull a little bit of attention away, but I don't think it's gonna last very long. No, Ghost had enough guys there in reserve, yeah. sort of south of ammo, to, to neutralize that. Yeah, they'll cap it right back in just a second here. Especially with 20 yard not having any kind of spawn, spawn support down there. Valiant effort, but it's not going to be enough. Unless they pull something off here. Uh, I, I don't know where you are, Rusty, but just over here on Hill uh, Ammo Depot, they're actually just bunkering okay, down. Keep in mind. Yeah, that's what I'm watching Trying to now. get that cap, yeah. Not got their eyes up. Someone's just getting crept up that's on that. Also in a favorable nope. location in case you want to hit their backs. They're down. they're down. Yep, here it is. Are they capping yeah, that objective still, Jay, or what's going on there? But there's only yeah, two fully capped. ghost guys there. Like, and they, wait, have they no, almost had they it, or we almost had it? They almost had it. We're back now. Oh my yeah, god. got it under control. Barely. If you got that on Commander comms, 90% cap, 20 are there, and that's unfortunate. Yeah. If they've really? had that spawn point, they, you know, it's... Uh, Yep. Yeah, they're they're gonna spawn support there. Alright, uh, Fiddy, can your squad hold that as neutral until my squad falls back to Jay's squad to help get that shit? No, you, we don't, you don't, we don't need help. We got it. They're all dead here. Okay, alright. Are you sure? Are you sure? Aha, uh -huh, there you go. That's the important question. Are, are you, you sure? positive, Jay? Jay, are you 100% sure? Yeah, we have people here. Get you guys on perimeter. Don't have them all bunched up. Ah! <laughs> Ghost being careful there. Not quite sure if 20 yard might have a fob out there in the woods. They don't want to leave that objective with only two or three guys capping when a, when a whole squad rolls up. So you can see them, hear them there talking about tactics there. Absolutely. Oakley, how are your tickets? We're at uh, 72 right now. Okay. 72 to 139. 20 are holding on longer than last time, for sure. Definitely. Go starting to take the edge, though. Hey, Oakley, is one of these guys uh, Conway, Hunter, back into their favor. Three guys, squad leader, we don't have enough people Ammo Depot. Um, no. Okay. I'm not sure, quite sure what they're going to try to accomplish over here. Pushing up to the hill from the east. He's sending three random people this over there. It's a hard there. one because it's yeah, right next to their main. They don't they have a spot. Possibly the entire squad it's since they just, no, no, it's fine. they just neutralized and almost camped that point. They got to automatically expect a whole squad, get, maybe more, to, to pull back over squads, there to, as to as react. As long as we get to an half cap, we can so get three squads on Sending three guys over there. It's just that back cap. Yeah, I agree. I'm just saying it's going to be hard. Twenty yards actually managed to get that neutral flag back in their possession. So, if they're quick on their feet, um, you know, like you just said, send a squad leader out with maybe another four up to ammo depot and, and make a Keep bit your of a, 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 on a and pain around of that objective, Jay. They could probably swing this battle We're trying back to get this one back. Bot. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're taking that initiative. No, not, not with three guys. None of them are squad leaders either. Like I said, so like they can't. Just, I'm not sure what they can. Besides catching them all by surprise somehow, which they won't know since they know they're there. Um, yeah. And I don't see that happening. Wow, he just wiped all three of them. He just wiped all three of those guys, and they had the drop on them. Whole squad to the southeast right now. Roger. Let me know on cat. Maybe tell Jay to send in three boys. No, I don't want to risk that. We're starting to neutralize now.
just noticing here, watching 20 other the drip feeding into that um, little 15. They're spawning and they're just running straight in, you know, one at a time, and they're just getting picked off, especially on this eastern side. You've got to get to a point, you've got to say, lads, just hold up and we'll go in and force. Yeah, Break up into pairs little... or threes. Yeah, like you said earlier, man, like trying to push into Hill 415 as the Russians from the east is very, very difficult. It isn't, you cannot run directly into it from the east. You will get wiped out every time. Yep. You have you have to go around this north or south one way or another. I mean, even the guys off to the south here, I'm watching uh, Soul Knight Long, Piet, and Tex. They're just they're not making any real push. They're sitting here. Maybe they've got scopes they're trying to get eyes on, but... Right, There's no choice. real push from the south. Right. Looks like everyone's getting drawn to that east side. Another thing comes down to keeping your guys together as well too. You know, keeping everybody oh, spread out you. and like coming at it onesies and twosies is, is obviously as well not gonna not gonna be effective. You really gotta rally everybody together, keep everybody together, and then you know divvy your squads up and then make a push in the weak spots. Yeah. I guess you could say. How are you, tickets there, Oakley? We're down to uh, 43 now. Okay, we're at 129, just so you know. The margins tightening up just a little bit here in the second match. It's, it's good news for for 20R. I mean, the, the right, only Jake, way to get better is to have these here. matches play against plans like those. Now we're about to cap. And I think, I think we're seeing them start to kind of understand a little bit of those ghost tactics, understand where they might right. be coming from. And we're seeing that reflected in a ticket here, difference four. here. Yeah, exactly. And it's the same with any sport. You play, you know, the top level. It's the only way, you, you know, you can improve. And that goes for all clans. You know, playing in this tournament now, everyone's going to come away knowing something and learning and, uh, and taking that forward to the next sort of squad league event. So it's, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be great for everyone. And, uh, it's, a, it's a really great event. Especially guys that haven't played with Squad League before either, or played with any other clans. Um, and, and jumping in and seeing how clan matches are compared to, to public matches, that's, that's the main thing. Right. Because it's, it's a whole different world. You know. Yeah, you're right. And much better up, world. There's also the difference between a friendly scrim and, and a, you know, a streamed Squad League event. And you'll pull right. up to that, you know, you'll back that up, Doc. You know, your friendly scrim, yeah, it's intense and you, you, know, you, you know you're playing a clan. But when it comes to this, you've got your nerves. You've got mm -hmm. the hype, the adrenaline, you know, you sweat in yep. and all that yep. sort of stuff, yeah. Um, so it's, it's a great experience for everyone. and um, yeah. Especially yeah. clans, too, that are like used to, to playing uh, just, just against, you know, on their on their public servers and playing against pubs. And, you know, it's a lot more, Definitely. a lot more, like you said, it's a lot more intense. I mean, even these, sorry. No, okay, even, even with the friendlies, even with the friendly matches, you know. Because you know yeah. like, against somebody else who, who knows, you know, on what box. to do and, you know, how, how to go about doing it. As opposed to public, playing against public where it's, I'd almost say 75, 25, they're, they're not going to know what they're doing. <laughs> so, oh yeah, agreed. And, and another thing to remember is, you know, Doc, you'll remember the first squad league event you played, you know, that... Let's get a good it was really a, a massive thing, and, and the jitters, and... They've cleared the way from the north northeast, so guys, we got to get back know, there. Like, Ghost and... and um, a 20R, okay, Ghosts are involved in the 4v4, but this is really that, you know, it's Ghost, it's 20, 20R, it's about you guys, and it's, it gets to you. Yeah. Oh. Oakley, I don't know if you saw that, but I think, I think Alfie on PC was, uh, was out of ammo. <laughs> it was, oh, really? I think he was trying to rush in with a grenade, I don't know, I was following him for quite a while there, trying to figure out what he was doing. Yeah, same, he was crawling for a little while. He was crawling <laughs> quite a while, that was pretty funny. What's your what's your ticket looking like? Uh, we're oh one ticket actually. Oh, down oh, to one good. ticket. Oh wow, wow. Oh, there you go. So yeah, there's the match. So Ghost will play Rip in the quarterfinals. Ghost moves on. Twenty R is eliminated. Uh, thanks to everybody for stopping by. This is our only stream this weekend. Good job, guys. Go ahead and check our bracket out at squad. Uh, dot gg forward slash bracket. That's our bracket on Battlefy. You can check up our uh, oh, on our again. live updates. Again there and we'll also post these videos on our youtube channel if you'd like to watch them as well see the match. so thank you everybody for stopping by um thank you to blitz and doc east for commenting thanks guys yep. thanks, thanks for having us and uh squad league we'll see you guys next weekend we've got two matches next week uh, like i said go ahead and check our schedule and we will post those times as soon as we have them uh thanks everybody for stopping by and we will see you in the next one